Hey guys, I'm sure you've already picked up an auto agent or are looking to pick one up. I'm gonna go over some really useful functions that you can do on the Gen 4 Duramax. So let's jump to it. Okay guys, in order to perform any of the vehicle functions, we're first gonna need an auto agent and then we're gonna need a smart device. Today we're gonna be using our factory infotainment screen. There's a device that will put Android onto your factory infotainment screen. So we're gonna turn the vehicle on. If you've got the push button start on your Gen 4 Duramax, you need to push and hold that button for about 10 seconds until you see the accessory mode come on. Once that accessory mode comes on, our infotainment screen's gonna launch. Once we've got the device launched, we're gonna go into our auto agent app that we've installed from the Play Store. Need to make sure that whenever you're using any smart device, you connect to the vehicle Wi-Fi or you use a USB connection if you have an Android device. So we've got Wi-Fi connected. First off, we're gonna go into the vehicle. You can see here that we're connected to our 2021 L5P. We're gonna go into functions. This is where all of the vehicle functions are gonna be displayed. So the one we're going over today is setting the tire pressure monitoring system. The reason that you'd wanna change any of that, if you're not running a heavy load, you wanna have a little bit smoother ride, we can take that TPMS from that 65 PSI down to 45. So we're gonna go into there. We're gonna run that function. We can see here that the current TPMS is set to 65. So we can change each of these individually. We could have the, the back with a higher PSI, the front with a lower, or we could put them the same. Today we're gonna set these both to 45. We're gonna submit. The tire pressure system has been reprogrammed. We can test it by running that same function again. And here it's gonna show us that our current TPMS settings are 45 and 45. So that's how we reset the tire pressure monitoring system. Stay tuned for more vehicle functions. We're gonna be going over a lot of those in the coming weeks. As always, thanks for watching. Check out these videos and make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more EasyLink content. And we'll see you in the next one.